What is a TTY and how do you use it? The reason I'm making this short video today is because uh, on some of my tutorial videos, sometimes I mention, hey, you probably need to drop to a TTY to do this instead of doing it in the terminal emulator in your graphical environment. And especially new to Linux users, some of you guys are unsure exactly what a TTY is, why you would use a TTY sometimes instead of your typical terminal emulator like Xterm or the GNOME terminal. So today I just wanted to cover exactly what the TTY is and how you go about using it. So the first question I think most new Linux users ask when they first hear about TTY is, what does TTY stand for? What does that mean? Well, technically, it stands for teletype. It originally stood for teletype writer, or it could stand for teletype terminal. I don't want to get deep into a history lesson, but really these TTYs, these teletype terminals, really their history dates back really all the way to like the 1830s, 1840s, to devices that were called teleprinters. They were these machines that sent messages over wires it was kind of like the evolution of the old telegram. You remember telegrams were sent over wires, usually using something like Morse code. Well, these teleprinters, they sent messages over wires too. They sent these encoded messages and they were transmitted over the wires. People received the messages and then they had to decode the message and print the message. Eventually, these teleprinters evolved into more advanced machines called teletypewriters. Then once you got into computing, especially in the 1960s, 1970s, you had uh, terminals. And I'm not talking about terminal emulators, I'm talking about physical terminals. Sometimes they were called teletype terminals. And so the TTY, that, that name, that's where that name comes from. It basically means teletype. Now you have seven TTYs on your system usually, and to get to those, you use the control alt F1 through F7 keys. That is the key bindings to get to each TTY. So if I wanted to get to TTY1, I would hit Control Alt F1 and it takes me to TTY1. Control Alt F4 takes me to TTY4. And again, you have seven of them. So Control Alt F1 through F7. Let me show you this in action here. So I'm going to switch over to the desktop here. And this is Ubuntu 19.10. Now, TTYs are a little different depending on the distro you run, but I imagine most of the Linux desktop users out there are probably using Ubuntu or one of the Ubuntu flavors or some kind of Ubuntu derivative. So this is a good one to demonstrate on. Let me go to TTY1 here in Ubuntu. So I'm going to do Control-Alt-F1. And when I hit Control-Alt-F1, instead of going to TTY1, like a terminal prompt, right, a command prompt, I get kicked back out into the login manager. So that is not a bug. That is actually the way it works in Ubuntu. Now, this doesn't work exactly the same way you know, on every distro, but in Ubuntu, TTY1 returns you to your graphical desktop environment's login screen. In Ubuntu, TTY2, Control-Alt-F2, is your graphical desktop environment. So if I hit Control Alt F2 right now, nothing happens because, again, I'm already in my graphical desktop environment. So Control Alt F2, you know, brings you back here, but I was already there. So let's do TTY3, Control Alt F3. And you see the graphical environment goes away, and you see at the top we have TTY3. And then it's asking for a login because we're not technically logged in. So on this VM, I'm in a virtual machine today. You know, I would actually have to log in with my user and pass. And from here, I could run any kind of commands I want to here in this command prompt. And if for some reason I had something running here and I wanted to run another command, I could always switch to another TTY. So I could do Control Alt F4 to get to TTY4. It's going to take a second to load. And we're in TTY4, and I could log into this one, do something in it. If I wanted to, Control-Alt-F3 to get back into the third TTY. You see, you probably didn't catch that on the camera, but it actually changed to TTY3. It, it's at the top. If I go back to TTY4, yeah, there's TTY4. And of course, Control-Alt-F5 takes you to TTY5. Control-Alt-F6 takes you to TTY6. Control-Alt-F7 in some distros, takes you to the desktop environment. So I run Arco Linux on my main machine, and Control-Alt-F7 is actually my desktop environment. But again, in Ubuntu, Control-Alt-F2 takes you back to the desktop environment. 
and there we are. Now a couple of things we should point out, let me get back into TTY3, so I'm going to control alt F3. If for some reason you need to change to another TTY, but maybe you don't have access to the function keys, or there, there's some reason you can't hit the key binding to get to that TTY, you can just enter a command in the terminal to change to a different TTY, and that is CHVT, which stands for Change Virtual Terminal. And then you need to give that command a number, whatever TTY you want to switch to. If I want to switch to TTY6, I do CHVT space 6. Hit enter. Give it a second. And there is TTY6. And let me log in. If I wanted to switch back to my graphical desktop, I could CHVT space 2. That is the same as doing Control Alt F2 to get back to my desktop environment. Now these key bindings that I've told you about, they assume that you're running XORG on the system. You're running a graphical server, right? But say you're running a server without XORG. The TTYs, they function very similarly, except instead of Control Alt and the function keys, you do just Alt and the function keys. So the control key is not necessary. Now the reason I made this, this quick video today about TTYs is because the other day, well it was actually a couple of weeks ago, I made a video about moving your home directory to a second hard drive. And I told you the terminal commands to make all of this happen. And I said, you may want to drop to a TTY to do this instead of doing it inside the graphical environment. And the reason that is, is because if I opened up a terminal and started doing something here inside the graphical desktop environment, and I'm moving stuff, moving a lot of data to a different drive, maybe I cause my graphical desktop environment to crash. Well, that's no good because then, you know, I'm not going to be able to complete what I'm doing. But just get out of XORG completely. Get out of your graphical desktop and just drop to a TTY to do anything. So in, anytime you're doing something that may cause your desktop environment or window manager to crash or, or cause XORG to crash, it's best just to drop to a TTY. I know some people, they like to update their systems in the command lines through TTY rather than in a terminal and a desktop environment. I'm not one of those kinds of people, but some people say that causes them less issues. I don't know if that's just an urban myth, but I, I've heard that from people in the past. And another common usage for TTY is when your desktop environment freezes, your computer freezes or something. A lot of times when nothing is working inside the graphical environment, control alt and the function keys still get you to TTY where hopefully you can kill the program, the offending program that's causing everything to freeze. Or if you can't fix it by killing a program, at least you can drop to TTY and do a pseudo reboot and, you know, reboot your machine. Now, before I go, I do need to thank a few special people. This episode about TTYs was produced by Michael Mitchell, Chris DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Lambda, Omri, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon, and they are the producers of this show. Without these guys, you wouldn't know what the hell a TTY is. You wouldn't know about it. Also, the channel is supported by all of these guys. You see all these names on the screen. This is all my supporters over on Patreon. Again, thank each and every one of those guys. If you'd like to support the channel, you'll find me over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.